Hello there and welcome back to the channel where we are setting up what is commonly known as a, a K40 laser. I've just been trying for the last hour to align the mirrors and found it's as it stands impossible and I've just found out why and that is the laser itself isn't in line with the gantry. <laughs> So when you set the mirrors up in one area and you move the gantry, the beam goes totally off the mirror, off uh, mirror number two, and no matter how much you adjust it, you know, you can't get it back. Or if you do, uh, and then move the gantry back, uh, it goes off the mirror again. So that means that this laser is not running parallel with the gantry and that's what you absolutely need so I'm going to show you what to do to get it lined up so the first thing to do is remove this like that uh, make sure this is unplugged turned off and unplugged before you do anything at all but you you know you need to be very very careful with the laser, uh, the laser tube, because it can be easily broken. Uh, I just want to take some measurements first. Maybe a little difficult for the camera to pick this up, but I'll try. And, I, and what I'm doing, I'm measuring the back side of the tube to this wall. And I'm measuring that and what I can see that's pretty well 25 millimeters which is roughly an inch off that face but back here it's 27 millimeters so that's two millimeters out of line okay now to verify that because I don't know whether this is square to the gantry I'm just going to check that okay so I'm going to take up th that screw there is pretty well in the center of the nozzle so let's measure that that's and that is a pretty well 100 millimeters which is four inches we'll take it down that end and it's about the same there so we know this is parallel with that wall I just want to verify make sure I'm not going cross-eyed or anything that's definitely 25 millimeter off that wall there And that's definitely 27, it might even be 27 and a half millimetres off the wall there. Let's just check, check it midway. But 26 and a half there. So it's definitely the, this end of the laser is cocked out here. Right. So I think the first thing to do, okay, so I'm going to put a scribe line on the bottom of this here so I've got some reference of where it was and where I'm going to. Okay, so we've got a scribe line there now. And there's two screws, one here, one here, that I can slacken off. Oh, well, I can't get onto that one. That one's already slack. Oh, great. Um, now, I would hope underneath this, and I should be able to get at it through the electrical cabinet in there, I'm going to try and undo that one there inside. Um, I, thought I, could, I thought I could have... I don't want to take this laser out of the clamps 
if I can avoid it. In finding out this problem, I've actually just solved a mystery. In the first video I made with this, the unboxing and cleaning out, I found in the bottom, just lying around, two little, I think it's seven millimeter nuts. Well, I just found out where they came off because there's nothing on the bottom of these screws. <laughs> so I've just put them back on. And now I should be able to move this um, two millimeters like that. I just did it. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that's something to look out for, isn't it? Okay, so now we have the laser tube parallel in line with the gantry, the x-axis. Uh, so now it's time to align all the mirrors. So, okay, so I put a bit of painter's tape over mirror number one. I just want to make sure that the laser is hitting the mirror somewhere in the middle there. So I'm just going to fire the laser. That looks pretty good I think. Yeah that's okay. So what do you have to do when you've done that? You always leave some residue of the glue and what have you uh, on the mirror itself so you're going to clean it off so the, this is the sort of stuff I use it's just ordinary um, glasses cleaner eyesight glass cleaner a little bit of a squirt on the end of the of a cotton bud um, That's how you clean the mirrors. And you see there's a bit of muck on there. So the cleaner that you can make your mirrors, uh, the more power you're going to get down at your work. Okay, so this is mirror number two now. So let's have a look at this. That's okay. I've moved the rail now, and let's see where it's going to hit the mirror. That's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to alter mirror number one now. I think that's okay. I'll just clean the mirror. So this is the third mirror. And we'll uh, give it a test, see where it's going. That's pretty well in the middle. I think I'm going to be happy with it. I'll just move this slightly, see if it moves. No, that's okay. Now I'm going to clean that third mirror. See what sort of burn mark we're going to get. So I'm trying to power up a little bit. Oh, that's that's pretty damn good actually. We're going to call that good. Okay, so that is how to check and align your laser tube. Uh, and how to align the mirrors up. Um, it can be a bit fiddly, just um, with the adjusters. 
just move them very slightly, quarter of a turn at a time, and recheck and recheck and recheck. Otherwise, uh, you know, you'll you'll never get it anywhere near right. And I don't know of any of these K40s to straight out of the box be right. I think a lot of people have problems with the mirrors. Uh, and indeed, in my case, the laser tube itself wasn't in line because um, from on mirror number two, from being as far back in the Y, where you do a test there and then you bring it all the way forward, it was going off the mirror and I couldn't get it right by adjusting that mirror. So that led me to check, okay, is the tube itself parallel with the gantry? Because that's, you know, with the X. So they have to be exactly parallel. So to do that is just uh, measured from a, a repeatable point, the top of the screw actually, to this back wall uh, here and here, and then do the same with the, the glass tube. And if there's any variation with the tube, you know it's not running parallel. So you have to get that parallel first and of course I found it the reason why that occurred was because the two nuts that I found in the bottom here when I first unpacked it were off the bracket that holds the end of the tube here so watch out for that one but um, all in all it's a pretty damn good package actually for what you can get out of it. Um, I would encourage anybody who's interested in, in lasers and uh, you know CO2 lasers, uh, this is your first step um, before you invest five to ten thousand dollars on a CO2 laser to um, well become a you know sort of a serious hobbyist or even start your own business you know your own small business which you absolutely can do um, you could probably start a micro business with one of these um, you can do a hell of a lot with them you can do more with these than what you can with a diode laser. So this is what I recommend, but like I say, be prepared to do some work on it. And in doing work on it, you get to know what makes lasers tick. And knowing deeply how a laser operates, uh, you know, mechanically or whatever, um, will help you out in the long run. So, if you've liked the video, and if you've got this far, or you probably do like the video, please like and subscribe, and if you would like to help the channel along and keep to keep going, uh, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel, because it's the patrons behind the channel that actually keeps it going uh, because there you know there's no ad revenue to speak of these days so um, next video we're going to be putting this to work we're going to um, calibrate it a bit in other words we're going to um, cut something out and measure it up and uh, I, I'm going to sort of show you how to make a decent cut with this. In eighth ply is a good start. It's uh, like a softwood ply. It's not or medium ply. I think it's three ply. It's fairly softwood. I think it's probably popular or popular or something like that. 
and we're going to get the best cut we can because what you'll see a lot of people using a CO2 laser and they, they cut it things and it's black and charred that's not the way to cut with a CO2 laser um, and I'll show you how to do that until the next video thank you for joining me it's bye for now